Well, I don't know how many times this has happened to you to where the drawer front has been repaired before and now you got to repair it again but rather than going through all the problems of having to replace this because you really don't have much left on this drawer anyway so now we got to do another one so what we're going to do we're going to replace just this area here down to where the bottom of the drawer, bo uh, drawer bottom is but we'll have to drill a couple of holes so we can get to the to the screws unless you get longer screws but let's say we don't want to go through that so let me go cut a piece all right so we're going to need a board exactly 10 inches wide uh, two and we're going to call it three quarters tall nice thing about this board it doesn't have to be perfect but you want to try to get it as close as you can Okay, so you see it's going to fit. See right along that edge, and then of course the width. Well, we're about a sixteenth of an inch wider than we. We're about a sixteenth of an inch wider than we need to be, and I can see it's cut crooked anyway. So let me go back out there and trim it up a little bit. Okay, now as always, I'd rather cut it just a hair bit smaller anyway, so that it. It'll kind of pull your your sides in a little bit, get it nice and tight, so there won't be any any issues about the thing being swallowed at the front. And already, I've already made another mistake because this drawer front is cut because these ends were rabbited, and so really now, guess what I should have done is measured this so this is it's nine and nine and five sixteenths instead of ten yeah see I didn't take into consideration the rabbit it on this thing so now we need to go back out there and cut it nine and whatever I said nine and five sixteenths back again okay now we get it to fit okay now we look pretty good it's just a hair bit smaller but that's okay now we just need to we just got to get this 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 is not factory this has been broke once before so uh, and you can see crack there and all that good stuff so we need to clean all this up this is going to go right at the edge right there we're going to screw this in and then you can see the bottom of the drawer bottom is sticking out just a little bit for it to catch this groove right there so let's go ahead and get this screwed in glue won't do any good because this is that melamine well it's really not melamine there's another name for it been so long since I fooled with this stuff You can drill as many holes in there as you want to because that's what's going to hold this to it and uh, of course now we got to measure where the where these screws are come up one inch from the bottom this side's exactly three and a half we come over three and a half six inches
Okay, and now you don't want to drill them. You don't want to drill them the size of these holes. You can, we're going to kill a one inch hole because this piece is really not going to, other than holding the sides, it's really not going to be holding anything except the draw front and the sides together. So you could even drill an inch and a half holes, it's not going to hurt anything. We got that thing on there. We want it flush at the top, close as you can, but you can only get it so close because of the uh, because of the groove to catch the drawer the drawer bottom. So now we can run us some screws in here. You can see we can get to our to our handle screws if we needed to for some reason if somebody wanted to change them out. Okay. That thing's ready to go. Being that you got a full side on each side, it's gonna be a lot harder to break this thing out unless your wife gets really upset at you, then then you just have to Keep adding another piece and then add another piece and then of course the drawer keeps getting smaller and smaller. So the next thing you do then you gotta go get one made. But I bet that's gonna be at least 30 or 40 years down the road. Alrighty, we're done with that.